On today's agenda, I have to remove the old like oil cooling system that the IS has that that like the thermostat that comes down into the cooling lines and where the oil filter is because this uh, CX racing manifold doesn't clear it. Let's get this installed, you know. That's pretty much what I'm doing today. Okay, so now comes the time to uh, install our oil system. Now, I don't have it all on me right now, but what I do have is this original block. Now, I've removed all the oil filter system th from this, and I'm going to change it up a bit and install my own oil filter or modify the original one. All you need for this is a 17 millimeter socket to get it removed and reinstalled. So normally it looks like this, but we're gonna change it and make it look like this. Right here. As far as this oil filter housing is concerned, I just got my two adapter pieces. So this goes from the M22 thread, boom, to a 90-8 thread, like that. And then I have my sandwich for my oil feed. From uh, This piece is from KM Motors, so it's a KM Motors sandwich plate for my oil feed, which I just have a 90 on to go to my other Dash three, high pressure stainless steel braided line, also from KA Motors. That'll just go in like that. Perfect. So all I'm gonna do is uh, probably put some sealant, some thread sealer on these, and then uh, put them in the, in the fitting. So I just cut my uh, Dash eight oil tubing in a half, my five, in, my five foot length, and all I'm gonna do is install this pre-assembled system right here. Wanna make sure your O-ring is clean and oil gently oiled. All right. Maybe adjust it a little. Okay. Awesome. So I just installed the oil filter, oil filter, yeah. So I can make sure that where I tighten this up is exactly perfect and I can still change the oil, etc. So just gonna tighten this. Nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. I can still easily remove and install the oil filter. Awesome. Boom. You see this line right here? That is my oil feed. That comes out of the sandwich plate. It goes into this right here and feeds into the top of the turbo. So. All I have to do now is thread it in there. One more job. I have just a little bit left over of this uh, thermal sheathing right here that I put on this uh, AC line to protect on the manifold. And what I'm going to do. Let's just run it over this right here. And all that's gonna do, sorta give it a little extra protection against this hot exhaust manifold. I don't want the exhaust manifold burning through my uh, 
my lines, you know. So that all looks good. Okay guys, so I just got this box in from uh, China. Ugh, smells straight up like Chinese manufacturing and it's my oil cooler. This thing's pretty sweet. I'm as uh, just showed, I'm using the factory oil thermostat, that sort of stuff, and I'm just gonna run some lines to this aftermarket oil cooler for, with adapted uh, elbows. So I have the uh, lines coming out here, as you can see. And these come out, and then I have to figure out where I'm gonna mount it and cut these lines. It's gonna be something along the lines of this, or maybe up here, something like that. Probably just like that, actually. And then I have these uh, Dash 8 AN fittings with push lock ends. Just these, two of them. These are gonna go on the end of it on these two barbs and then go to lines feed in there under the manifold howdy doody got an oil cooler so let's get that going now Finally comes to the part that I've been actually quite scared to go through with. I'm about to tap the oil pan for my uh, half inch NPT to uh, dash 10 AN fitting. So the steps are as follows. I need To first use the punch, find a spot above the oil level. Secondly, use a pilot hole or use a smaller drill bit to do a pilot hole. Then use a step drill to increase the size of the pilot hole up to uh, 22, 30 seconds or three quarters of an inch. And then I want to use a half inch NPT tap to tap the hole into the pan. After all of that, I can finally feed this piece in right here and run my Dash 8 adaption to my oil drain. First things first, make sure you have oil in the pan. This is a fairly critical step because you don't want the shavings just hanging out in the pan. If you have some oil, we can drain it and hopefully get most of any shavings that landed on the inside of the pan out by doing so. Secondly, get an idea of where the fitting is going to be. So mine will be somewhere when it's all tapped in, something like that. So that looks about right. Thirdly, you want to make sure whenever you're fitting 
it's positioned it is not in the way of an oil pan bolt so you'll be able to get the oil pan off without removing this fitting that's especially important if you're welding a fitting on but that's sort of a different situation drained everything in the pan. I just used some cheap Walmart oil and just letting it go. Getting rid of all the junk in there. I just ran and I put just a little bit of really clean oil in here. Just real quick. And I'm gonna let it soak down. Just drain it out and see how clean it comes out. If it comes out real nice and clean, probably won't have to do anything else to have it be ready. But seeing as it's like perfectly clean oil, I'm gonna be able to see very easily if there's any pieces of metal shavings in it. Now I don't know if you can see this, but it's definitely a little bit sparkly. And anything else that's left, that's what the oil filter is there for. So I just had this crappy oil filter. I probably changed the oil in a couple hundred miles. All this done, it's time to do the last part of the oil drain. Just gotta mount the turbo, run the oil drain, that sort of thing. You can get under them. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the oil drain comes down all the way from the turbo, then it goes, meets here, so I'm gonna trim it off about yay. So just gonna tighten down the oil feed right now. Everything's looking pretty good. What's going on guys? We got the whole oiling system done. I've tapped the pan, I've put the fittings in, I've done the drain, I've done the feed, I did the oil cooler. Whew. It's been a big couple days. 
I think it all turned out really great. It tucks up nicely into that uh, kidney there. Beautiful. Turbo's hard mounted. Just gotta finish the downpipe, sort of that normal stuff. Step by step, we're knocking it out. It's getting ready to fire up real soon, guys. Stay tuned. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Yeah.